after trading occurs, we have to capture all these transactions and all the reference data that integrates with transactions. We have to warehouse it into database systems. We have to procure and integrate business intelligence tools or build our own in-house tools. Uh, the other thing that's important about NYC Euronext just sort of to start with is that we've acquired many companies and we've gone through many mergers and that's also obviously created a lot of complexity in our environment in terms of data, um, data warehouse in general and integration of information across the firm. Um, it's important for us to remain innovative because we are transforming this business from an exchange into a real data service provider and you know at the center of everything we do is the, is the information that we basically carry. Business challenges are very common. Time to market is a key theme. Um, lots of data. Data is all over the place. Dealing with kind of new systems, coexisting with legacy systems. These are all the typical challenges that you find and how do you report on that data in a timely fashion. Unlike other organizations where they just deal potentially with complexity, we deal also with massive volumes. We produce about an aggregate two terabytes of data per day across all those different matching or markets. Because we have so many technologies and we have the database systems all over the place, implementing this sort of consolidated data access layer is very critical to us and that's one of the drivers why we started looking at data virtualization over a year ago. What I'm trying to do is expose a couple of things. One is streamlining and consolidating, you know, making sure that there's a certain um, layer for all the data access as well as just the integration of that data. The second thing is basically provide tool set for folks that aren't so technical but can contribute significantly to the effort because they understand the business process more so than the technologists. So the main reason why we purchased Composite to start with was to sort of centralize data access and to start to kind of govern how applications, well basically the consumers of the data, um, access the data warehouse systems as well as some other database systems. We want to basically build a set of common services and technology and reuse that across all database systems regardless of the type of uh, product that we use. So the Composite kind of conceals a lot of that for us that way we can sort of organize our network topology, better control the security in terms of how the data is used, put the appropriate provisioning on those particular machines to make sure that we understand what's leaving our data warehouse back to the client. You know, we chose Composite early on because we thought that, you know, the multi um, join capability that had the multi-pass capability was very strong in terms of some of the complex high volume type of data integration that it would need to do. Its optimizer was really kind of industry leading. It had some good caching capability which really provides a little bit of a boost in terms of performance. Um, the administrative tools that it came with, the tool set were, were pretty intuitive and it's going to be huge, huge savings for the firm because we're able to sort of um, retire a legacy system that would probably cost us over five million dollars to support on a, on, a, on a yearly basis and will probably reduce that cost of maintenance and support less than five hundred thousand per year. Uh, we felt that the technology was extensible meaning that not only can you access database relational technology which is ninety percent of our case even more but you can sort of extend the data virtualization layer to support other data sources, web services and files and all sorts of um, other uh, data assets that an organization may have. We're dealing with huge volumes to, to, so to say that it can't be done is incorrect. It can be done but obviously you have to do it with a mindset. You start off, you have to be practical in your approach and you have to be very diligent in your approach. You cannot give up, sort of yeah, build that roadmap and incremental steps in success.